Hello again, boys and girls. Welcome back to Storytime with Adele. Today, we've got a book that you may have had in school or you may have had it in the house. It's called Monkey Puzzle and it's by Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheffler. And did you know what other books these have created? It is the Gruffalo. The Gruffalo. That's right. I wonder what sort of setting we have in the story today. Do you know already? And here is our little monkey. I wonder what he will be up to in the story. Let's find out, shall we? I've lost my mum. Oh, poor monkey. Hush, little monkey, don't you cry. I'll help you find her, said Butterfly. Let's have a think. How big is she? She's big, said the monkey. Bigger than me. Bigger than you? Then I've seen your mum. Come, little monkey. Come, come, come. Oh, she might know where his mummy is. No, no, no. That's an elephant. My mum isn't a great grey hunk. She hasn't got tusks or a curly trunk. She doesn't have great thick baggy knees. And anyway, her tail coils round trees. She coils round trees, then she's very near. Quick little monkey, she's over here. Does that look like it's mum? No, 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 that's a snake. Mum doesn't look a bit like this. She doesn't slither around and hiss. She doesn't kill round a nest of eggs. And anyway, my mum's got more legs. It's legs we're looking for now, you say. I know where she is then. Come this way. No, 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 that's a, that's a spider. Mum isn't black and hairy and fat. She's not got so many legs as that. She'd rather eat fruit than swallow a fly. And she lives in the tree tops way up high. She lives in the trees, you should have said. Your mummy's hiding above your head. Do you think she's right? No, 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 that's a parrot. Mum's got a nose and not a beak. She doesn't squawk and squabble and squeak. She doesn't have claws or feathery wings. And anyway, my mum leaps and springs. Aha, I've got it. She leaps about. She's just round the corner without a doubt. Oh, this might be the one. What do you think? No, no, no. That's a frog. Butterfly, butterfly, please don't joke. Mama's not green and she doesn't croak. She's not at all slimy. Oh dear, what a muddle. She's brown and furry and nice to cuddle. Brown fur, why didn't you tell me so? We'll find her in no time. Off we go. Oh. <sighs> no, no, no. That's a bat. Why do you keep on getting it wrong? Mum doesn't sleep the whole day long. I told you she's got no wings at all. And anyway, she's not nearly so small. Your mum's not little. Now let me think. 
she's down by the river having a drink. No, no, no. That's the elephant again. Butterfly, butterfly, can't you see? None of these creatures looks like me. You never told me she looked like you. Of course I didn't. I thought you knew. I didn't. I couldn't. You see, none of my babies looks like me. She's right, isn't she? So she looks like you. Well, if that's the case, we'll soon discover her hiding place. No, 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 that's my dad. Come, little monkey, come, come, come. It's time I took you home to... Mum! Oh. All the family back together again. Butterfly tried her best, didn't she? What a lovely story. I love these authors and illustrators. They're fantastic. I hope you enjoyed it, boys and girls. I'll see you again soon. Bye.